Guys, good morning. What is happening? What is going on? What is good? I hope you're great. Thank you guys today we're doing another reaction video. Man, oh man, it is a beautiful day in Glasgow, Scotland. It is currently Friday, 10.05 in the morning. I wanted to do this reaction video a little bit earlier, but I ended up watching a Gary Vaynerchuk video and, you know, I just got lost in that whole shit, guys. And you know something? Like, watching his videos, they kind of, like, made me want to just come here and just make a bunch of reaction videos, man. Fucking everybody just thinking about, just fucking do shit. Like, it got me hyped and shit, so not that I wasn't hyped already. Guys, this morning, when I woke up, I just went through a bunch of my videos, and I was just reading all your comments, man, and I see a lot of familiar fucking faces, uh, well, familiar faces, familiar names, commenting. Thank you guys very much. I really do appreciate it, man. Um, especially, like, a few of you guys. There's one girl... Uh, oh man, I'm gonna have to remember names. Um, yeah, I'll, 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 and one guy from Florida, bro. Thank you so much, man. Like you hit me up on Instagram as well, guys. If you're not following me on Instagram, please do so. My Instagram name is right here. Click that shit. Fucking go follow me, man. This is what my Instagram actually looks like. I've never actually put this here, but like my Instagram isn't selfies and all that shit. It's like proper photography shit. Check it out. Here we go, guys. See that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful photo. So if you're into that kind of stuff, follow me. You know what I mean? And also, guys, do not forget to click that subscribe button. Boom. Right here. Uh, subscribe, 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 guys. That would be greatly appreciated. We're kind of like almost at like 5.5K uh, subscribers, which means we're going to be close to 6,000 subscribers, man. That's pretty damn cool. So today, we're going to steer a little bit away from uh, 10,000 days. Let me tell you why. Because, guys, I don't think I'm mentally prepared today to do either Rosetta Stoned or The Wings for Mary Part 1 and 2. I'll tell you why. Because those songs, right? First of all, Rosetta Stone is like 11 minutes long, and then the other two are gonna be like fucking 19 minutes long, man. So I think, I don't know, I'm gonna try and do it today, but I think starting out with something a little bit more shorter might be a better idea. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the song Push It. I actually thought it was called Poo Shit. Like, poo, like caca. Poo. Ugh, can't believe I said caca. So Push It. We're going to do Push It, and then we'll get into Rosetta Stone, because I want to finish the 10,000 Days uh, album, and we basically have two more songs left. There's a couple songs there which I haven't done, but no one's asked for it, and I don't think they're that that popular compared to all the other songs that I've done. So, you know, we're, we're going we're gonna to stick to specifics and say that these two songs are going to be the last ones from 10,000 Days. And then what we'll do after that is we'll go to the Lateralist album. We'll work back the way. We'll do all those songs. Oh, guys, we're going to be together for a very long time, me and all of you. It's going to be beautiful, guys. Um, also, when this video comes out, you you will have seen that I did a, a Perfect Circle song and also a Mashuga song. So, guys, let me know down below what else I should react to, man. But we are going to be doing Tool for quite some time, man. It's going to be it's going to be sick. I'm so excited because I'm just very I'm very psyched to like hear what the other songs on the album sound like you know because i'm gonna take a wild guess that not every album sounds the same they're all gonna sound a little bit different uh so yeah we've got push it now a lot of you have been asking for it so i was like fuck it let's just do it man before we get into these other songs uh i know we're skipping a couple albums but fuck it it's all good so a little bit of insight into the album so uh yeah anima I think I already talked about this before when I did a couple of songs by them. I think the song was Anima. Uh, Three million copies sold in the United States of America. September 17th, 1996 was its re uh, release date. And this song is actually the uh, 11th song of the album. It's very interesting that you guys have been asking me to do this song. And uh, it's like on the, it's like the 11th track on the album. Uh, a lot of you guys have Ooh, I like these droney violins. Ooh. Oh, man. That's actually scary. It's like a horror film. I like the guitars. The guitars sound very like... Sounds like a beat.
that is very nice.
Guys, guys, guys. <laughs> that was insane, man. That was fucking insane. Okay, I've took down a bunch of stuff here. All right, hopefully I can remember a few of them as well. Uh, because there are a few things that I didn't write down because I was just listening to them. But let's go over the few things that I really like about the song first. By the way, there's nothing that I don't like. Uh, hold on, maybe there's one thing. I remember it, but uh, fuck it. We'll go over the things that I really like. The one thing that I, I was like, ah, uh, and then we'll go over like the lyrics and shit, okay? So first and foremost, starting out with those eerie like horror movie strings, man. It's like, you're like, ooh, what's gonna happen? Oh, I've got a tickle in my pants. I, I don't really. Actually, no, maybe I do, because fucking Tool turned me the fuck on, man. So, I love, I love, like, see the slow rhythm of the drums and, like, that droney guitar that comes in with the drums as well, just, like, complementing the eeriness of the violins that, you know, were in the intro. So it's like, and then it just starts off like that. Fucking beautiful. Now, let's go to the chorus, because this is one thing that I, I, I love about Tool, is that they, ha they know how to do dynamics really well. They keep it simple, but it's also so fucking effective. The powerfulness in that chorus, like just elevating the song to like, whew, from like the, the, the verse part. So the verse is like nice and chill, then boom, the chorus comes in. Really like that, man. It just makes it like a little bit like, ooh, different, differently, you know? One thing that I also noticed, which I don't have written down here, is the, um, it's like the snare drum. Now the snare drum, normally with snares you hear it's like a tack, tack, like that. But with this it sounds so hollow. It, it, it almost sounds like, uh, it sounds more tribal because it's like, it's not like a tack, it's like a taw, taw, like that, you know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, I, I, it fills up the snare sounds a lot more. I feel like with normal snares, sometimes it can sound a bit too tinny maybe, but this just like, it, it feels like when you hit it, it's just like whoo, beautiful like that, man. Am I right guys? You know what I'm talking about? Yes, no, maybe so. So here, this is something that I wrote, really specific. So at around three minutes, 52 seconds, um, just this wall of sound just hits it. In fact, let me try and like, uh, like sing it for you guys. 3 minutes 50, uh, let's see around 3 minutes 52. Hold on. Yeah, this bit. So like the guitars go from sounding tinny to just like the mids are just so crunchy. Yeah, it goes from like a tinny sound to like a very crunchy kind of wall of sound like a fucking tsunami hitting you oh and then with the drums like that it's just like it goes hectic and shit fucking love that man um so here's the bit which i was like Ugh. okay is the instrumental part like the middle part okay so like at, it starts at 420 blaze it uh i like the instrumental part it gives off like it gives like a sense of like anxiety a little bit, you know? But then I feel like they've just stretched it on a bit too much, man. Like, I, I was just like, okay, here we go now. It's coming. Uh, it's still going. But the vocals at the bit where the vocals come in in the middle part, like, I love the, the echo, the delay sound or reverb sound that they have on that. It's just like, it sounds like he's somewhere else in a fucking cave and it's just like getting released. Very, very beautiful. Um, but yeah, like it, it was just a little bit too, sh like too long for me. But then the riff at eight twenty three. That's what I wrote here at eight twenty three. It's like, it's like, um, how, fuck. How does it go again? Uh, down, 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 do. I think that's how it goes. Hold on. Let me see if I can get a specific one for you. Hold on. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Ah. And then like the vo once that like rings out, the vocals come in. So it's kind of like it's kind of like the guitars 
is having a conversation with the vocalist. It's like, dun -dun 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 -dun, and then the vocals come in. It's like, yeah, I'm answering you. But then, like, the guitars hit back again. And then, oh man, <laughs> that bit was so good. That, that is a way to end a, a long instrumental part with that. Beautiful, man. Um, so, yeah. For me, that that is that is what I loved about the song so much. Fucking beautiful. So let's go over the lyrics now, guys. Okay, because I want to kind of like I guess decipher what the song is about. So here we go. I saw the gap again today. We'll go on genius lyrics. Actually, I always uh, trust genius lyrics. I don't know why. Maybe because they have a YouTube channel. Wait, yeah, it's the same, isn't it? I will choke until I swallow. Choke this infant here before. Well, fucking hell! Choke this infant here before me. What is this but my reflection? Who am I to judge and strike you down? So. Fucking hell! That's 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 one way to come into a song, man. <laughs> you know what I like about some of their songs is that the verses are so short, but. Because he sings it so slowly, it actually makes the verse quite long, but it's like only four lines. Uh, so then the chorus, but you are pushing and shoving me. You still love me and you push it on me. Rest your trigger on my finger. Bang my head upon the fault line. Take care not to make me enter. Because if I do, we both may disappear. But you're pushing me, shoving me, push it on me. Slipping back into the gap again, I'm alive when you're touching me, alive when you're shoving me down, but I trade it all for just a little bit of peace of mind. Put me somewhere I don't want to be, seeing some place I don't want to see, never want to see that place again. Saw that gap again today as you were begging me to stay, managed to push myself away and you as well. If when I say I may fade like a sigh if I stay, you minimize my movement anyway. I must persuade you another way. There is no love and fear. Staring down the hole again, hands up on my back again. Survival is my only friend. Terrified of what may come. Just remember, I will always love you even as I tear your fucking throat away. But it will end no other way. What the fuck? Is this song about murder? Like killing, I need to, I need to drink some water guys. Ah, much better. So guys, is this about... Is this about murder? This is about murder. It's about murdering like a loved one, perhaps. Now, a, a lot of you have told me in the comment section to not take things too literal. So that uh, like sometimes it's satire or whatever. So I don't know. Like, oh, okay, I will choke until. Sorry, guys. My camera decided to just stop fucking recording. Fucking piece of shit. Honestly, it's not the first time this has done this. Please stop recording. Um. Okay. So yeah. I will choke until I swallow, okay? So I will choke. Now, I thought, first of all, that that was about sex because I'm like, oh, choking like on a dick and then swallowing the, the whatever. But then he goes on to say, choke this infant here before me. So like choking a kid. What is this but my reflection? So he's staring at himself now. And then he says, who am I to judge and strike you? So he's like saying, who am I to judge you on what you've done and hit you based on whatever you've done? But you're pushing and shoving me. So like they're, they're having like an altercation. So he's getting pushed and shoved. So he has to like maybe defend himself. You still love me and you push it on me. So the person who loves him is pushing it on him like that. That, that fighting, I guess. Rest your trigger on my finger. Rest your trigger on my... So, like, their gun. Bang my head upon the fault line. Take care not to make me enter. Because if we do... Because if I do, we both may disappear. Which means they'll both kill each other if that happens. 
but you're pushing me, shoving me, push it on me. Slipping back into the gap again, I'm alive when you're touching me. So, like, they're like in love now. Alive when you're shoving me down. Uh, sex, maybe? But I trade it all for just a little bit of peace of mind. I like that. <coughs> Put me somewhere I don't want to be. Seeing someplace I don't want to see. Never want to see that place again. So, like, maybe that is a metaphor for, like, the darkness when they uh, when they're fighting perhaps like when she's like mentally abusing him saw that gap again today as you were begging me to stay managed to push myself away and you as well what is the gap guys what is the gap uh, <laughs> what what does he mean by the gap does that mean the space where they don't want to be or something if when i say i may fade like i a sigh if i stay if when I say I may fade like a sigh if I stay, you minimize my movement anyway, I must persuade you another way. There's no love and fear. Ah, okay, there's no love. So he doesn't love her when he's afraid of her, or maybe the other way around. Staring down the hole again, gun, hands upon my back again, survival is my only friend, terrified of what may come. Just remember, I will always love you, even as I tear your fucking throat away, but it will end no other way. Lyrical genius. I love the way he writes. I love, 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 love the way he writes. It is so beautifully and well done. It's it's like a poem. I remember analyzing poems in English in school. And it's like this. But this is a lot better. Guys, this is amazing. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for suggesting me this, man. I really appreciate it, guys. You know what to do, smash that comment section down below. Also, guys, let's try and get 100 likes. 100 likes, okay? Maybe even like 110. One of my videos got 200 likes, but I don't know if this will get that. But let's smash that 100 likes, man. And uh, I will need it because fucking hell, the next two reaction videos are going to be long ones. I hope my camera can fucking take it because it's, little, it's being a little bitch right now. Uh, guys, I have nothing else to say except... Peace.